no more purple banditos. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Ash Gray version. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we arrived here after we went through Diglett's cave. In today's episode, we're going to talk to Larry Me here. I believe that's who she is, and she seems to be battling us right away. So let's go ahead and take her on. Uh, actually, it's Pokemon Breeder Lara, and she's going to send out Growlithe. I guess we're here at some uh, weird racing place. I, I believe that's what it is, if I remember correctly from the anime. So it's going to be a bit of a fun day, and I'm actually looking forward to doing this. I think this was one of those Pokemon episodes that always stood out to me. So I think we're going to have a pretty good time here. Now, let me actually go ahead. Should I keep out Bulbasaur? Or should I switch out? Ah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and switch out. I'm probably better off using Squirtle. You know, once in a while, you got to do the type effectiveness sort of thing so you can actually be effective. Who, who would have thought that's why they call it? Hope you guys are having a good day, a good week, just relaxing a little bit. I've actually just recently ordered a couple books. I'm thinking, you know, I should start reading more. I should read up on some books, you know, maybe go out there, do a little more exercising, uh, you know, run around, have some fun. Uh, as I said, you know, the little puppy, Killian, I mentioned it. Uh, thanks to all you guys who actually did come and look at the pictures on Instagram, all those sorts. Thank you for all the, the nice comments that you guys left. It is really, really an adorable puppy. Uh, quick correction, it is seven weeks old. For those of you guys wondering, so I, I might have said years because I tend to talk really fast sometimes, but it's a seven-week-old puppy. I mean, I guess you could say eight-week now, since I think my sister has had it for a whole week. Don't tell me you don't know this whole area is a Pokemon reserve. It's against the law to capture Pokemon here. Have you ever heard of the Big P Pokemon Ranch, owned by the Laramie family? This is the Big P Ranch, and I'm Lara Laramie. We're having a big race tomorrow to see who the best Pokemon, and I'm entering with my Ponyta. Howdy, Lara. I'm going to win the Pokemon race tomorrow. Just get ready to lose, Lara. Oh, wait, what, what, did he just, what the heck, whoa, okay, something just happened here, uh, I think he just stepped on the Ponyta, that, that was strange. My arm was just injured when Ponyta was spooked by Dario, my arm hurt, I won't be able to enter the race, what will I do? You know, you only got a, a nice guy here ready to help you out, Ponyta is spooked, let's calm it down, let's calm down the Ponyta, I'm pretty sure this is the part where your hand gets burned because you don't really know the Ponyta, I think... It, it said that if a Ponyta likes you or feels comfortable with you, uh, its flames won't burn you. So it's actually really, really cool. We're going to head inside then, and we're actually going to have to race for Lara Laramie here. And this was actually one of the moments I've been waiting for that you guys told me about. So let's go ahead and enter the race, guys. And maybe, just maybe, we... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ready? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Go, go. Woo! -hoo! We are off to the races and oh man, where am I going? Where am I going? Okay, I'm not. Oh, yep. I'm, where am I? I don't know. What, what the heck is this? I'm probably going to be absolutely terrible at this, guys. I expect it to take me a couple tries, even though I am going to try my best. It just, it's a little bit difficult to control if you've done it. And I think the finish line is going to be over there. Yeah, okay. Uh, it seems like I suck at this. So I'm probably just going to come back in a couple seconds. Uh, you know, well, you know what? I'll give it one more shot. All right, guys, one more shot. All right, one more shot. And then if I can't get it this time, then we're just going to go ahead and go to when I beat it. But I believe in myself. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Here we go. Oh, mother fudge. You can go through that little spot. That's why I'm losing the race because I'm not going straight through that spot. Okay, yeah. I, oh, this race, this race is totally done. Uh, Lara just completely should have gave us a little bit of strategy, told us where we should go. We just got burned. Like, you can see how far away this guy is from us. Okay, I'll be back. And with that, guys, I think we have gone ahead and done it. Woo! -woo! We finished. What an incredible upset. Rodri and Ponyta win this Pokemon Challenge. Congratulations. We are this year's Pokemon Challenge champion. All right, guys. So a big hand to Laramie. Go ahead and give her a clap. And uh, we have done really awesome. So that was actually really, really fun. Let's see what she has to say. Thank you, Rodri. You proved yourself to be a fantastic Pokemon trainer. As my thanks for your help, please take this. We received a Quick Claw. Okay, I will take that. That will definitely help us on our journey. That there's a Quick Claw. It'll speed your Pokemon up. All right, well, thank you so much, Lara Laramie, and we're going to continue on with our adventure, guys. It seems like we have finished the race. Thanks, Ponyta. You were awesome. I had a blast. Uh, how cool would it be if we could actually just ride around with a Ponyta the whole time through this? Instead of a bike, you just got on the Ponyta and you just rode around the whole time. It just, uh, just uh, you know, food for thought there. Food for thought there, Pokemon developers. If you can ride around in a Pokemon all the time, I imagine it get a little tough. My name's Jenny, Safari Ranger. What the heck? You're under arrest for Pokemon poaching. Didn't you know this whole area is a reserve? Well, 
Well, I guess I can let you off with a warning this time. Just don't try to catch any Pokemon here and look out for poachers. Thanks, Jenny. Ooh, I think I know which area we're at now, and I believe we're coming close to the Safari Zone. A couple of you guys were like, you skipped it. No, it's, it's here in Fuchsia City, guys. So we are going to be doing that part. Uh, I don't know exactly what kind of anime episodes are in it, but there's the Safari Zone. I actually want to go heal up a little bit, though, because our Pokemon are a little bit dead, passed out. And it would be nice to also pick up a couple items on the way. I hope we find the shop here. We need a couple, you know, super potions. We need repels. We're pretty much out of all these items. So it'd be nice to just restock a little bit before we keep going on this crazy adventure. Which you never know all the twists and turns. Like the little horse part with Ponyta. Super cool. Where, where the heck are you going to, you know, come up with the idea for that? That's just awesome, and it was really, really fun to do. If you guys are playing along, I hope you tried that part out and you didn't skip over it. It seems like a part that is pretty easy to skip over, but I just hope that you guys try your best. And you just, you know, give these a, give these a shot. They, they're not that difficult if you just try your best. It took me a couple tries, but I'm also not the best at controlling some of these things. All right, let's stock up. I definitely need repels. We are completely out. I'm going to buy a good amount. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and buy 15. That should be pretty good. Now, let's go ahead and check the super potions. I have seven. And that's not bad. Pokeballs, we have six. You know what? I think we're actually pretty good. With that, we should be able to enter the Safari Zone. And I feel like we're pretty good, pretty prepared for it. So let's go ahead and make our way there. Fuchsia's definitely changed a little bit, as you can see. I guess it, you know, went with what the developer wanted to do. It definitely changed things up a little bit. Uh, the Safari Guide Hut. Let's head inside, though. Maybe there's some stuff here we need to do before we go any further. The Warden has Violent Streak. Maybe not. Maybe these are just random NPCs that are thrown here. As I said, I'm actually really excited for the Safari Zone. It's an episode that was actually banned in the U.S., I'm pretty sure. It's because Team Rocket, uh, I think, used guns or something in it, so they didn't really want to bring that to America. So it's an episode that a couple of you guys might not have ever seen, uh, but I feel like I saw it. I'm not even kidding you. Hold on. You want to get a shot, kid? I'm the... Whoa. What are you talking about, dude? You're gonna, you're gonna shoot us down? Oh my goodness, this guy is violent. He wants to shoot us with his Thunderbolt revolver. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give this man 500. Slip him another 50 under the table so he lets us go through. All right, we're gonna go ahead inside then to the Safari Zone. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and start looking around then and see what we have to do. This is the rest house. Uh, I believe we're on a timer, a step timer. So we're gonna try to get through the Safari Zone as fast as possible. I don't really know where the heck I'm going. So just a quick heads up to you guys. Uh, the Safari Zone so far looks pretty similar to how it is in the other games. I'm not really sure though. So I'm just gonna run to it. I'm pretty sure we just have to make our way to the back. That's how it always is. So that's what I'm gonna try my best to do. Let's keep on going. This. this this does seem like the right direction. I'm kind of surprised no Pokemon have actually popped out at us, though. Uh, so that is a little bit strange. Maybe they're just at a higher rate to, to, to pop out. I, I don't really know how to explain that. Where the heck is this? All right, this this does not look like the right area. And there we go. We have bumped into our first Pokemon, and it's uh, Taurus. All right, very cool. I'm actually not going to go ahead. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't know. I feel like he's going to run away. Taurus were always really hard to catch in the game. Yeah. All right, he fled. I, I'm pretty sure we weren't going to be able to catch it. And... We're going to be taking on... What the heck? Is this an event? A Rhyhorn? Okay, I'm not sure if this is an event or if it's just magically triggered. I, I'm pretty sure Ash is supposed to catch a Taurus. Uh, so I'm not sure if that was the event. I hope we can find another one. Not really too sure about that, guys. Let's hope that we can do it. Saw some Kanga scans up there, though, but I don't think we're supposed to head in that direction. I think this is the way we're supposed to go. If I remember, you're supposed to go kind of like all the way to the right, up, all the way to the left, and down, and it's like there I, I don't remember 100 percent though so i'm just gonna keep on trying and let's see what, let's, what's in this ball max potion hey at least they have really good items here for us to run around and get let's see if we go up here there's a house this kind of looks like this could be the house you never know this kind of looks like something two criminals came by i can't say anything i don't want to end up strapped to a machine the horror all right i caught a rare chancy will you train me for a ratatata if you guys have a ratatata there you go I was nearly gored by Wild Taurus. All right, my bad, man. And this is not the right area. So our time is probably going to run out sooner rather than later. The Safari Zone's a huge place, and I don't really know where the heck it is we're going. So let's go ahead and see if... I don't know. Where the heck... Where the heck are... I don't know, guys. We are just really lost. I am not sure where the heck we're supposed to go. Maybe I was supposed to go where the Kangaskans are? Yeah, that might be it. It might be where the Kangaskans are. Maybe. I think I do remember part of an episode being located there. So let's go ahead and try to make our way to the Kangaskans then. Because I think that's where it's going to be. I, they were right up here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, they were right up here. The Kangaskans. Let's go ahead and make it to them then. 
I think, yeah, I, this is definitely it where we're supposed to go. There's no way this isn't. Time's up. Okay, I'll be back when I run back here by myself. All right, guys, so we're back here with the Kangaskans, and as you can see, there's a little guy down here, so let's talk to him. It says, you Pokemon are people. My name's Tomo. Okay, I protect Kangaskan from poachers. If you guys know, Tomo's the little guy that was abandoned here in the anime. Uh, and the Kangaskans, like, where his parents, like, the Kangaskan was his mom. And he was, like, a jungle boy. And then you help his parents in the anime find him. Pretty crazy. You, you, that, you guys pretty much know what I'm talking about here. So that's, I guess, another episode in the anime. I guess that's not the right one, though. How many episodes were there, actually, in the Safari Zone? <laughs> I don't remember exactly. Let's just keep on going, though. This looks a little bit more like we're supposed to go. Whenever I see these bushes here that look like they're leading through a path, they always make me think I'm headed in the right way. And the Pokeballs are also a pretty good indicator. So I'm going to keep going to the left. Is this it? Yeah, I don't know. Is there an exit? Come on. Let there be something here. Let there be something. This, this looks good. This is looking quite promising. A lot of Pokeballs on the way down. And let's see what the sign has to say. Restricted area. Keep out. This is it. All right. The warden is telling us to keep out. You know, knowing us, we're going to go ahead and run in, guys. Because that's the type of stuff we do. And there's Team Rocket. Okay. Ah, we're going to capture that rare Dratini. We'll use a special Team Rocket underwater electric bomb to make the water Pokemon go belly up. All right, guys. Looks like we're going to have a battle. Let's take them on. Okay, guys, so with that, we defeated Team Rocket. You never know who wins until the round's over, Derp. The electric bomb will explode. Wait, wait, what the heck is going on? Who's this guy? Yeah, if the bomb explodes, all the Pokemon in the lake will be... Oh, look! It's the legendary Dragonair. It's throwing the bomb back at Team Rocket. No, we're right here, too. We're blasting off again. This is the same Dratini I met all those years ago. You've grown so well. Hey, what's up, Dratini? Dragonair? You saved the Dratini. Thank you. Please take this as a reward. All right, guys, so we obtained a dragon scale. That's kind of nice. I don't know what we're going to use that for, but I'll take it. Thanks to you, I was able to see my beloved Dragonair again one last time. Now I'm even more determined to protect it from greedy trainers. Uh, 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 greedy trainers. I'm about to throw my fishing rod in here and see if I can catch the good old legendary Dragonair. Let's head inside here, though. There must be something if we came this far. Maybe we can actually obtain something from this guy. I was appointed by the warden to watch over this area of the safari zone. I was taking a nap when I heard a huge explosion. Hope everything turned out okay. All right, so, yeah, how about you uh, give us a little something? We obtained TMO2. Not even really sure what that TM is. I'm going to leave that as a surprise for you guys. You probably know what it is. But with that, we are done here in the Safari Zone, guys. And there's actually one more thing that I want us to do. So I'm going to run around and look for a Pokemon in this grass. And I'll be back once I bumped into it in two seconds. Okay, guys, so there's a Pokemon I've been looking for. It is a Taurus. In the anime, Ash actually catches a lot of Taurus. I, I don't remember how how big it was. I think it was like 25 Tauruses, a big amount. But with that, guys, gotcha Taurus was caught. I thought we might as well catch one just to, you know, keep in pact with the anime, you know, keep going with it. What's about to tackle? It whips its tail around. Uh, it hits you. It's a strong guy. I'm pretty sure we're going to need one later on, too, to trigger a couple more events, I would like to say. It looks like all these Taurus want us to catch them it really just wants to be like the anime but with that guys we are done here in the safari zone so i hope you guys have enjoyed our time here make sure to give this video a thumbs up give it a like leave me some comments on what's coming up and uh, you just let me know what's going on thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next episode goodbye